played, I felt like we'd won the game. One and a half, I should say. It's horrible that we had played. Didn't think we'd be playing worse, but I found out in the second half we could. Uh, just absolutely um, debossed, and it's not his fault at all. But it's very obvious he was no factor. He had no legs, he had no shot, he had nothing. Just, just what it is is what it is with him. It's not his fault. Should, you know, just second half, had no, couldn't finish the play. And we went to him over and over and over. And you miss easy plays around that hole, um, that takes wind out of your cell. So, I mean, that's what happened to us. We came back down there and didn't get some stops. Um, didn't have very good rhythm. Didn't get much in transition. And like you said, it was just kind of like starting over out there today. Jermichael, uh, Jermichael Green, Bernardo was doing a good job against him in the first half. He started stepping out there, kind of. Uh, hit some jumpers. Start. Yeah. We missed we missed him around the hole. He hit some jumpers. He made three or four at the second half, 18, 20 foot jumpers. He's an okay shooter. I don't know if he's consistently a guy you want. They won't shoot those jump shots. He made them. From that, give them energy. We missed some point blank ones. Uh, didn't help us. We go to the free throw line. I think D was three for nine for the game from the free throw line. Three for nine. We go ten for twenty from the free throw line for the game. And you know, at halftime, at halftime, old D was zero for five, and you're down one. And again, we just never got anything going out there today, rhythm-wise. What do you th What do you think of Sydney's night overall? Oh, I think he got, you know, understands. Hopefully he understands more now what it's like at, like at this level. The toughness and energy and the condition you got to be in. Uh, you know, I thought probably defensively did pretty good the first half. Uh, I think Green had two points at halftime. Uh, we went in the game thinking doubling some, and Sid was doing a good job on it. But the second half, you know, Sid, I think, got so tired, he didn't come out there and do two things on ball screens very well and contest some shots very well. That's just what it is with him. I mean, it's, it's a process, and um, you can't play for 20 minutes. It's a 40-minute game. That's very apparent out there today. What about well, his offense, uh, especially from Well, you got to finish. You know, and that's, that's something that, you know, that we know he can do. But it's very obvious that conditioning um, had a big factor in him not finishing anything today. Well, one, for, one for eight, and I'd say six of those shots are right around the basket. Should, should he not be in better condition by now? Well, hey, Brad, you know the answer to all that. No, I don't. Wish he was, put it that way. Wish he was, but he's not. So what it is is what it is. What were they doing defensively against Cody for him just to get five shots? You, think? you know, they didn't make a lot of shots. You know, we got I, early in the second half, we threw it in there to see it quite a bit. playing dead behind him, right dead behind him, and didn't finish plays. Uh, those are huge plays start, start off the second half, too. Uh, you got to finish it. You know, and, and because of some newness out there, you, you can tell we didn't have a lot of rhythm what we were doing. You can usually count on Rayburn to hit a couple of big shots, but he's just been cold these last couple of weeks. Sure, really never, never really got it going consistent, consistently out there. Uh, kind of like everybody else. It's very obvious early in that game, he was really uptight. We couldn't get, you know, we were missing shots. It just wasn't, just wasn't playing with a lot of, it, you know, a lot of it, zip and zap out there. It just didn't. You know, just everybody felt really uptight. You well, said D's legs just weren't no, That's very obvious. I, I mean, again, whatever D did, it's, it's just what he's going to be to get himself back in game shape. And there's a difference in practicing and game shape and all that. I mean, it's very obvious he had no rhythm on a shot tonight. I mean, absolutely none. Was it a fact that and he had, too, because relatives seemed to be able to get around? No, nah, he had all kinds of, he had all kind of Open shots all night long. I don't know if D ever took a bad shot tonight, a contested shot. He had open shots. Where shots he's going to make when he gets his rhythm. And he just didn't have them. And because he's used to making them, because he had them, he took them. And, you know, we we're trying to get him to attack the rim more because your shot and legs are just not there. Yeah, y'all took 20, you had, took 24 threes. Is, is that about? What we got down the second half, took a bunch up. No, we don't want to shoot that many. First half, what do we take the first half? 11. 11 the first half. I mean, there's got to become, you get, you've got to finish, finish finishing that post more, Rick. I mean, we want to get the ball in there more. But again, first half, they, they zoned basically all the first half and made us shoot some threes. 
Uh, but we, we were still had some efficiency against that zone zone. Second half, they managed most of the time. And we got behind and, you know, started shooting a lot of threes. Uh, the anticipation of having D back after all these games he's missed, I mean, was that a distraction, you think, at all? Or is that a mentality? You know, I, it's not a distraction. We're glad he's back, trust me. I mean, his performance today doesn't show that. But, I mean, whatever his performance was today, it's not – it's not D's fault. Understand that now. It's just going to take time for D. D's worked hard. I mean, I mean, he's, he came back early from Christmas, and man, he worked hard. But again, there's no way that you can put a guy simulate what that game's about out there. The emotion of that game, uh, playing that game in a practice, and it was very obvious for him tonight. He just had zero rhythm in anything he did. We see him that in practice. I know you guys haven't been able to practice with D a lot, but these last few days. Yeah, I mean, he's not as smooth as he has been. And we, and we understand that. It's just going to take time. That's what it is. There's no way you can avoid what it is. With as productive as Wendell was, do you have to maybe try to get him in the game a little so bit So we need Wendell to do. We need, we, need that, we need Sid to be more productive. That guy coming off that bench, because the amount of minutes that guy's got to play, to be productive. Wendell was tonight. He gave us good minutes. And that's what you got to have from him. We can keep that up and get the other guy starting more productive, and that's what you got. But tonight we weren't near as efficient um, as we need, need to be in that starting lineup. What if the other guy's not as productive? Well, you, we got to keep working and try to get him that way. I mean, that's where it is. We just got to keep pushing to get him better. Was that, you know, I'm see sorry. where it's at. Go ahead. Was that second half more uh, Alabama just hitting everything, or was that team defense kind of? You know, out? it's a combination of. Combination of things. It wasn't like they hit a lot of threes. It wasn't that. And we got down. Uh, we didn't finish them shots, like I said earlier. That takes, you know, it hurts you. You get those balls point blank and emotionally you're struggling. You got to finish some plays. Get the lead. Get the lead. We had opportunities to do it and didn't do it. And they came down and in the first seven or eight minutes of that second half and they spurred out to 10 or 12. And that was kind of where it was at. We never recovered from it. Basket got big for them and got tighter for us. Hey, talk about all. Bernardo Sydney, first half, he was there to come inside. I thought he'd done a pretty good job. Talk about that. You know, I think probably defensively one-on-one -on -one is probably better than we anticipated. He probably did a better job defensively on green than we anticipated going into the game. Um, and then green steps out the second half and makes them jump shots on him. You know, Sid, Sid will have to learn energy you got to play with defensively, which made him play with a little energy. you got to come back to offensively and do the same thing some toughest energy, you know, he didn't, hopefully he can learn and see from this a little bit more tonight.